Good morning. Doing something a little different this time. Back up in New York. Gonna go from Morgan Stewart Shelter up to the Connecticut border, northbound. There was some pretty good parking uh, about eight tenths of a mile north of the shelter. I'm parked there. Got in late last night. It was like 11. Um, a lot of traffic. During the week, it was kind of funny. Anyway, uh, back up here with uh, Northern Gypsy and Firefly. All right, the privy, I'm gonna give, I think I'm gonna give it an A. Don't judge your book by its cover. There's light inside, it doesn't stink. It was very clean. It smelled actually good. There was duff. Um, seat was clean and stuff, no spiders. Yeah, this is good. Um, outside looked a little bad, I was thinking. Got a new tent. It is the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Mid-1. Picked it up at Trail Days. It just showed up this past week. So I've got it out for a quick section hike, finishing uh, the top part of New York up to the Connecticut border. Ah, a little plutonium never hurt anybody. Made it to Nuclear Lake. It's a beautiful lake. No camping or fires allowed here. It's the site of a plutonium accident in the 70s, uh, some explosion or something. They claim they cleaned it up and there was no issue. I don't know, plutonium's a little weird. I could stay here a long time. Model railroad, you know, little, you know, it's Thomas the train. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a little eagle. Yeah, it's higher up, and it's yeah, this is this is a little fresher. I'm gonna have something. Well, I'm a little worried about water. Are you? I don't know. I, we, we can rest. Water will come out of that stuff. I'll take a closer look at it. Okay. To drink, or not to drink. That is the question.
Hello, little guy. Okay, end of the day video. It was a pretty easy day. Uh, beautiful weather, nice and cool. Uh, no rain during the day. It's drizzling a little bit right now. Went, uh, let's see, about nine miles. Got to Telephone Pioneer Shelter. And then tomorrow, I think we're going to go uh, up into Connecticut to Ten Mile River, I think, is how far we're going to get. So that could be, uh, might be 13, 12, 12 miles, might be 12 miles, I think, tomorrow. And then on uh, Sunday morning, we'll hit Bulls Bridge and get a ride back to where the car is. And that would be the end of my hike. And for uh, Northern Gypsy and Firefly, that would be the end of their hike also. And they will have completed the entire uh, state of New York. I've got a big gap in the middle and a little bit at the beginning. So I'll be filling those in uh, throughout the uh, later this summer and early fall. Looking forward to that. So I should get uh, hopefully New York done this year and uh, Connecticut also, that's the goal. This new tent, the uh, Hyperlite Mountain Gear Mid-1, uh, pretty roomy, got my gear uh, hanging out here, there's enough room. I don't touch the edges and it seems to be keeping me dry right now, so I am happy. Whoa. Look, it's a tree hugger. Wow, it goes all the way across the road. Good morning, sunshine. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, hiking in New York. We just stayed at the Telephone Pioneer Shelter, working our way north. And let's see, just past the Dover Oak. It is majestic, it is monstrous, it's awesome. I imagine it's been there long before Appalachian Trail was a trail. And it keeps count of how many people hike by. It's the only thing alive, I think, that truly knows how many people have hiked this trail. It saw Earl Schaefer hike by, maybe, unless the trail's been rerouted. But just imagine that it is keeping count of all the hikers. Amazing tree. So today we're gonna get through New York we're gonna enter into Connecticut. The goal is 10 Mile River shelter area. Right, made it to the train platform, Appalachian Trail train platform in Pauling, I think. Pauling, New York, north of the big tree, Dover Oak. A lot of little parking over there. It's pretty full. A lot of day hikers coming out on a Saturday. Oh, there's just so many shades, aren't there?
Well, you let her tell me, oh, she's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Go over Plains Library. Whoa, a lot of books here. You could hop across the stones. That doesn't look bad at all. Yeah, yeah why don't we just do the stones? I'm going to do the stones. Really? I'll go over there and take a video. I'm going to walk you. down the stones. I'm going to take a video of you going the, across the stones. The logs actually look more hazardous than just walking across the thing. Mm -hmm. It does look fun. Oh, the flies are getting me. Wiggle it just a little bit. Woohoo! Okay, you may have this go up on the Cirque du Soleil. Ha, ha, ha. I see what you need to get over here. It's a little boo -boo. Ooh, Yeah, no woo. Boopsy woo woo. No woo woo. Woo 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 woo. Okay, you gotta chill out now. Are oh, you not gonna do it? No. So you know the hop right. As I fall in, right? Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> oh, I'm doing the video. I didn't want to do video. Why am I doing the video? Looks totally different than February. That's hilarious. There's water or jugs, but I don't think there's any Jug -like water. Jug-like things. They look empty. There it is. Welcome to Connecticut. Oh, Ooh, yay! Da, 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 you, you made right, it. Tag it. Okay, 10 Mile River Privy. I was here in January, I think. I might have given it an A plus or an A. I don't remember. I'm going to downgrade it to an A minus. Um, smells like ammonia. It's uh, been slightly overused. Um, otherwise clean, even has TP. That includes the bonus point for TP. Um, yeah, you're not really supposed to urinate in the privies. And I think too many people have been doing that. Yeah, I really like this place. Go, Alpha Gal, go! You got it! Catch that train!